Hey friends, I'm gonna share a healthy cookie recipe with you today. I know what you're thinking. Healthy cookies, what's that? But yes, this is healthy in the sense that this recipe has no added sugar and no wheat flour. Made from healthy real food and it can still satisfy the cookie whore inside. oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For the ingredients, you'll need a sweet potato, dates, I've noticed this brand is really juicy and I get them from Whole Foods, three pasture-raised eggs because conventional eggs are shit. Really any kind of nut butter, but I have fallen deeply in love with cashew butter. I just recommend reading the ingredients of your nut butter and make sure there's no nasty vegetable oil or sugar added. You'll need pure vanilla extract, almond flour, you could probably also use coconut flour or quinoa flour. I mean, if you really want to. Lastly, and this is completely optional, dark chocolate chips. Okay, really, any dark chocolate you will find will be sweetened somehow, kind of like how this one is sweetened with stevia. However, did you know dark chocolate is healthy and good for you and loaded with minerals and antioxidants? It's even been shown to improve brain function, so I'm adding it in. All right, let's get started. First, you'll put a pot of water over high heat on the stove and let that boil. While it's heating up, you're going to wash, peel, and slice up that sweet potato. Once the water is boiling, you're gonna put that sweet potato in and let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes until the sweet potato is soft and cooked fully. Then drain it, add it back to that pot, and then use, the, I'm not really sure what this is called, a masher utensil to mash it very well. Once it's all mashed, you're going to scoop out a cup of mashed sweet potato. Now I highly recommend using an electric mixer because it just saves you so much time and energy. If you don't have one, then you're just gonna have to mix it by hand and that is more work. So in your mixing bowl, you're gonna add that cup of sweet potato. You're gonna add in the three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, like, Half the jar of nut butter because it's so good. Now for the dates. So you first have to turn it into date paste. So to do this, I take about nine dates, remove their seeds, and put them in a blender. I then add a small amount of water and then blend it until you get a somewhat smooth consistency. And then add that to the bowl. So now you're gonna blend all your wet ingredients together. Once that's all mixed up, you're gonna start adding in the almond flour. Now, if I'm completely honest, I don't know how much almond flour I put in. I start with a cup and I start mixing that in and then basically keep adding in almond flour until I get a cookie dough consistency I like. Okay, not to be too naughty, but let's just go ahead and add in that whole bag of chocolate chips. <laughs> Yummy. All right. Now it's time to scoop some dough onto your baking sheet. I was doing my best to make them look circular and cookie-like because they don't really rise or take any different shape in the oven, FYI. So how you plate them is how they will look when they come out of the oven. So don't do an ugly job. Anyways, your cookies will bake in the oven for 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, you will have hot, delicious, nutritious cookies. Woo! I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and until next time, bye.